Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting promoted. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, would you say that the best path to getting promoted to be pa is to be passionate about building stuff and looking for ways to make an impact rather than look at promotion as the end goal? Mm. It's hard to say because uh, usually the way sane promotions work is that you get promoted because you show an aptitude and there is a need for the role. Like you're you're clicking with whoever is in, man in management at the time. And so my suggestion would be that you think about both in a sense because one thing that is important to understand is that just having passion alone doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get promoted because each manager might be different they might be looking at different things and it's hard for you to say well is this the right you know is this the right manager is this person uh, paying attention is there a chance for promotion so if you have a lot of passion for example you you don't really know if it's being noticed or not uh, usually because you it's not that common that you get a lot of recognition for the work that you do as an employee even if you're doing an amazing job sometimes they you know of course you might get a pat on the back every now and then but it's not something that is frequent enough for you to tell whether or not well if there's a promotion in your future unless you're sort of communicating about that with your manager now the thing that you should do in my opinion is to sort of build a track record first that's the thing you should be looking at so building a track record it basically means that you have to sort of prove from the get-go that you well not when you first start out but before you get into hey I want a promotion type of dialogues with people they have to have some history of your performance or some history it doesn't have to be performance necessarily it can just be your CV or something so, but they have to have something to base this on which is important and so when you're looking for a promotion I suggest that you think about it in terms of uh, the passion and all that good stuff that you're putting forward aim it towards things that serves some end goal and so if your end goal is to be promoted well then the things that you should be looking for are the sorts of initiatives that you can take on that sort of indicates that you have the skills necessary to do the work of someone who's going to do that as a role. Now an example would be, and I've, I've had that discussion with a few software developers in my day, uh, let's say that you want to be a tech lead or a team lead or something like that. Well, being a team lead or a tech lead or something like that is uh, basically more of an administrative role and it has more to do with having a good understanding of how the domain works and having a good understanding of how to run a team. That's not going to happen if you just show a bunch of passion for something tech related. But you don't really show any initiative in product development. You don't come with suggestions or ideas. You have no presence whatsoever in you know, your team messaging channel if you're using slack which I assume you're doing or something similar uh, if you're never present within the team and you don't have a good foundation of positive feedback with your coworkers or some like your coworkers sort of think that you have a positive net impact at the very least that is very hard for you to make that claim later on I hope that you sort of see what I'm going for here you have to build your foundation the, the thing that's going to sort of determine if your manager says yay or nay on your promotion to it has to be in line with what they perceive that role being all about now for example if you wanted to be a, an architect that's going to be really hard for you to swing if you're a junior software developer who only works with say front-end that might be very difficult for you but if you are a mid-level software developer and you have 
pro a proven track record of being involved in architectural discussions, you have a lot of uh, experience or you have a good foundation of skills related to say infrastructure it does i mean architecture doesn't have to be you know it can be front as well i'm just taking an example here but you sort of have to build up that foundation on a different set of things than if you're going to be a tech lead or if you're going to be like a engineering manager for example because the roles have slightly different focuses if you want to go all the way up to be say uh, well, not necessarily well technically an architect is pretty much the same thing but if you're going to be like a principal engineer or like a like a what, what they call me a uh, what is it like it's the staff engineer which is another term which is sort of an archetype of several different types then it's a different set of skills that you might have to have and you know if you're going to be a site reliability engineer or something like that and you want to get that promotion it's also the sorts of things that gives you that um, a, a higher role which you, in order to get it you sort of have to establish that foundation now with that said some roles it doesn't really matter if you're passionate about the thing or not because it comes down to as i said the manager's trust in that you will be able to perform within this role so in, as i was saying with the say if you're a junior software developer it doesn't really matter so much if you're super passionate about you becoming say an architect or like the vp of engineering or something super super high up you can communicate that to your manager and if you have a good manager who like has some type of career plan for you or something like that they might be able to help you set you set you up for things that will get you too closer to that goal but being realistic is important here because you might not be able to just swing that right off the bat right so it's a hybrid between having passion for the right things having the skills necessary like you the maturity as a technical expert and having a communication like a dialogue with your manager about being interested in that sort of work you don't have to throw out things like I want to get promoted or things like that you simply have to ex communicate that these are the, this the sort of role you want to head towards that's a nicer way of putting it it's like I tell people who want to ask for a raise in many cases just saying I want more money might not be as graceful as saying that I would like to have this sort of role because the money comes with it unless as I said it really is a question of yeah you give me a higher salary or I'm, I'm kind of walking so what I want you to take away from this is that getting a promotion and the best way to getting it is depends basically on company and the manager that you're dealing with uh, because in some companies a promotion is basically off the table because either because they don't have any openings or because you are the wrong profile for the sorts of promotions that they have on offer and usually what I tell people is that it's not yay or nay on like you should only focus on the passion and then hope to get promoted because there are people who are bleeding for companies and they never get recognition just as there are people who are asking for a promotion and might never get it or like they might get it because of reasons that may or may not be the best ones I, it's hard to say each company does it their own way but in general what I would suggest to you which I see is the thing that usually works is that you have to understand what you're going for and you have to align your passions and your in, in like the things that you take initiative on the presence that you are creating within the company towards that end role so if for example your role is more management um, administrative work types of things it's very important for you to make a presence in the overall community and have a positive relationship with your different stakeholders like your product managers or your designers or whatever or what have you because when you're going to have a higher role you in that sort of area if you're going to be like an architect or a, a hr person or an engineering manager or something like that intercommunication and overall connection with the community is more important than say if you are a master of unit testing so that, I hope that, that makes sense but let's say that you wanted to be an architect well then it's a different sort of thing that you sort of have to show an aptitude for you can almost think of it as a little bit as when you start out as a junior software developer 
it's sort of like being a kid. It's healthy in general for a kid to just run around and play and play like um, do different things just to stay healthy, right? But when they grow up a little bit, it's sort of like growing up as an engineer as well. You want they might ha if they want to get somewhere within sports, they will have to sort of pick some sport or make to make some choices. They can't do all of it at the same time unless they're a freak, which you know some people are, but you generally you're trying to optimize for something if you're good at running you're usually focusing more on things that are related to the running and so or if you're strong and so forth you're focusing more on being strength oriented sports and things like that so you narrow your scope more and more and you can think of it exactly the same way when you're trying to go for a promotion or something like that you should communicate that you're looking for a promotion because it's important that your manager is aware of that you're looking for you know taking on a specific role or something like that but in order for them to feel comfortable doing that it's usually a good idea for you to have or already have a bit of a track record doing something that feels adjacent to that thing so the leap isn't so big because as i said it's very difficult for a manager to say you know yeah let's take this person who just learned some basic i don't know http stuff or some basic networking and let's make them the like head off like this entire department the leap is too big you don't have enough of a track record proving that you can take on that sort of thing so that's the way you should think about it i suggest have a great day